and very warm welcome to Smile Kids channel. Now let's take a quiz on Earth, Sun and Moon. So let's get started. Question number one. The outermost layer of the Earth is options are crushed, mantle, core and none. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is crushed. The outermost layer of the earth is crushed. Question number two. The middle layer of the earth is options are crushed, mantle, core and none. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is mantle. The middle layer of the earth is mantle. Question number 3. Which is the dwarf planet? Options are Mercury, Neptune, Uranus and Pluto. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Pluto. Pluto is a dark planet. Question number four. The innermost layer of the earth is options are crushed, mantle, core and none. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is core. The innermost layer of the earth is core. Question number 5. Objects seen in the sky are called as objects. Options are cellular, social, celestial and central. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is celestial. Objects seen in the sky are called celestial objects. Question number 6. The dash is at the center of the solar system. Options are sun, moon, satellite and planet. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is sun. The sun is at the center of the solar system. Question number 7. There are dash planets revolving around the sun. Options are 8, 9, 10 and 7. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is 8. There are 8 planets revolving around the sun. Question number 8. Dash is the smallest planet and closest to the sun. Options are Pluto, Mercury, Earth and Venus. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Mercury. 
Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and closest to the sun. Question number 9. Dash and dash gases are the major constituents of the sun. Options are hydrogen oxygen, hydrogen and carbon, hydrogen and helium and hydrogen and nitrogen. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen and helium gases are the major constituents of the sun. Question number 10. Energy released by sun is called options are wind, tidal, physical and solar. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is solar. Energy released by the sun is called solar energy. Question number 11. The interior part of the earth is divided into dash main layers. Options are 2, 3, 4 and 5. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is 3. The interior part of the earth is divided into 3 main layers. Question number 12. The continents and oceans are on dash layer. Options are core, crash, mantle and none. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is crushed. The continents and oceans are on crushed layer. Question number 13. The major element in the inner core is. Options are copper, carbon, iron and gold. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is iron. The major element in the inner core is iron. Question number 14. The 10 outer layer of the sun is called the options are core, mantle, crust and corona. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Corona. The thin outer layer of the sun is called the Corona. Question number 15. Dash is the natural satellite of the earth. Options are sun, moon, star and satellite. Your time starts now.
Your time is up. The right answer is moon. Moon is the natural satellite of the earth. Question number 16. Dash was the first man to land on the moon. Options are Sri Hari, Neil Armstrong, Charles Duke, David Scott. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong was the first man to land on the moon. Question number 17. Lunar eclipse occur when options are Sun comes between Earth and Moon, Moon comes between Earth and Sun, Earth comes between Sun and Moon, and all of these. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Earth comes between Sun and Moon. Lunar eclipse occur when Earth comes between Sun and Moon. Question number 18. Solar eclipse occur when options are Sun comes between Earth and Moon, Moon comes between Sun and Earth, Earth comes between Sun and Moon. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is moon comes between sun and earth. Solar eclipse occur when moon comes between sun and earth. Question number 19. Dash is the coldest planet of the solar system. Options are Uranus, Neptune, Earth and Venus. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Uranus. Uranus is the coldest planet of the solar system. Question number 20. Solid rocks are found in the outer region of the dash. Options are core, crater, crust and mantle. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is mantle. Solid rocks are found in the outer region of the mantle. Version number 21. Spring tides are seen on dash days. Options are full moon, no moon, half moon and new moon. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is new moon. Spring tides are seen on new moon days. Question number 22. Ring shaped eclipse is options are partial eclipse, annular eclipse, cut eclipse and none of these. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is annular eclipse. 
annular eclipse is a ring shaped eclipse question number 23 when the sun and the moon are at the right angle to each other we get very low tides called dash tides options are spring nip usual and rise your time starts now When the sun and the moon are at the right angle to each other, we get very low tides called nip tides. Question number 24. The rise and fall of the earth's water due to the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun is called. Options are eclipse, meteor, tide and satellite. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is tide. The rise and fall of the earth's water due to the gravitational pull of the moon and sun is called tide. Question number 25. Dash is so light planet that if there was a tub of water big enough to hold it, it would fall on it. Options are mass. Saturn, Neptune and Jupiter. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is Saturn. Saturn is so light planet that if there was a tub of water big enough to hold it, it would float in it. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you find this helpful, do like, share, comment and for all the more updates on all the learning needs, subscribe our channel, Smiley Kids. And do not forget to click on the bell icon for all the updates.